Trams in Budapest The tram network of Budapest is part of the mass transit system of Budapest, the capital city of Hungary. The tram lines serve as the second most important backbone of the transit system after the bus network, carrying almost 100 million more passengers annually than the Budapest metro. In operation since 1866, the Budapest tram network is one of the world's largest tram networks, operating on 174 kilometers, 108 miles, of total route. As of 2021, it was composed of 38 lines, 26 main lines, and 11 supplemental lines denoted by an A, B, or G after the route number, and the Budapest Cogwheel Railway. The system is operated by Budapesti Kozlidesi Zert, Budapest Transit LLC, under the supervision of the municipal Budapesti Kozlidesi Kozpont, Budapest Transit Center. Since 2016, Budapest tram system used the world's longest nine-sectioned articulated tram vehicle CAF Urbos 39. History The Early Days The first horse tram line in Budapest was inaugurated on 30 July 1866 between Ujpest Varaskapu and Kalvinter through Vasi Ut. Over a year before, on 22 May 1865, the Count Sandor Carolli founded the PKVT, Pesti Kozuti Vaspalia Tarsasag, English, Pest Public Road Rail Tracks Company. Horse tramlines in Buda proper soon followed, built by the competing Buda Public Road Rail Tracks Company, BKVT. By 1885, Budapest had as many as 15 horse car lines, but since it was obvious that the technology was obsolete, a steam-driven suburban railway line from Kozvagohid, Slaughterhouse, to Soroksar, run by HEV, was separately introduced in 1887. Two more lines soon followed. Around this time, more Balaz suggested that a new electric tram system should be introduced to Budapest. It was Gabor Baros, then Secretary of State at the Ministry of Community Service and Transportation, who authorized the construction of the first test tram line between Nyagati Railway Station and Kiraly Utka. Balas teamed up with Siemens and Halski and Lindheim S. Tarsa and formed a new corporation, BVV, Budapesti Varosi Vasut, English, Budapesti City Trains. The construction works carried out by Siemens and Halski, started on October 1, 1887, and the line was opened on November 28, 1887. The track gauge of this first line was 1,000 millimeters, 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths inches, meter gauge, and electricity was supplied to the cars from below to avoid cables hanging across the street. The second step in the expansion of the system were two 1,435 millimeter, 4 foot, eight and a half inch standard gauge lines on July 20th, 1889. On July 20th, 1889, the second line, which spanned from Egetem Ter to Fumi Ut via Calvin Ter, was opened. It was designed so that in case of a power failure, steam engines could tow the carriages. The third line, also standard gauge, was opened on September 10th, 1889, and ran from the Hungarian Academy of Sciences to Andrasi Ut. Even though not a tram line per se, the first underground line in continental Europe, the Millennium Underground Railway, must also be noted. It was built using a cut and cover method between 1894 and 1896 and was first named FJFVV, Ferenc Joseph Foldalati Vilamos Vasut, English, Franz Joseph Underground Electric Railway, after Emperor Franz Joseph. It used electric cars from the very beginning. In the first years, tram had no numbers but colored circular signals instead. For example, a simple red, green, blue, or black disc, a red disc with a vertical white stripe or a cross, a white disc with a green eight-pointed green star, etc. This, of course, quickly became very cumbersome, so around 1900, when there were already 30 lines, each line got a number. BVV, which was renamed to BVVV, Budapesti Vilmos Varosi Vasud, English, Budapest Electric City Trains, got the even numbers. Odd numbers were assigned to a rival transport company, BKVT, 
Budapesti Kozuti Vaspalia Tarsasag, English Budapest Road Rail Company. The dynamically growing network brought new companies. Two of them served Uzpest, the northern part of Pest, one Pest St. Lorink, which then was a separate town, and one the southern part of Buda and the then separate village Budafok. These companies were joined together in 1923 by the name BSZKRT, Budapest Sedkesfovorosi Kozlekidesi Rut, English Budapest Capital Transport Company. It was during 1939 to 1944 that the most tram lines, 66, existed in the city. After World War II, the siege of Budapest left the city with a crippled infrastructure. Many houses were destroyed, as well as the bridges bombed, electric cables torn. It was, of course, of utmost importance to restore the transport network. However, many trams were destroyed either in the siege or in a depot fire that occurred in 1947. This might have been the cause that decision makers suggested that trolleybus lines should replace trams in the city center. Along with cost considerations, it is important to note that trolleybuses might be better suited for the downtown area than trams. They turn more easily and produce significantly less noise. While some tram lines were abolished in favor of trolleybuses, the expansion of the system did not stop. Near Nugati Railway Station, a new junction of tram lines were built to transport people back and forth to the factories in Angjalfold and Uzpest, and Line 33 through the newly built Arpad Bridge. Line 4 on the Buda side and the tracks on Nagi Lajos Kirali Ucha were also extended around 1960. The reconstruction of the Ursebit Bridge in 1964 played a significant role in the revival of the tram network. Five lines started using it after its opening. In 1968, there were 83 tram lines in Budapest, 10 of which night services, thus reaching the largest extent of the network since World War II. Decline was imminent. This happened partly because of the replacement of tram lines with single track and old vehicles with auto buses, but also due to the construction of underground lines M2 and M3, which were then thought to replace tram lines that used to run above them. In 1972, tram lines on Ersebet Bridge and Rakogsi Ut were abolished. Then, until 1982, tram lines were removed along M3 as well as thereby effectively erasing 40 kilometers of rail tracks, around 20% of the Budapest tram network. Along with lines in the city center, most of the lines in Uzpest and some in the southern parts of Pest were demolished. While many lines were closed down, a significant one was rising. Tram 33 was shut down for the renovation of Arpad Bridge in 1981, but when the bridge was reopened, a new line was born on the eastern end of the Outer Ring Road, Hungaria Korgyuru, Line 1. It has been under construction ever since, with segments opened in 1984, 1987, 1990, 1993, 1995, 2000, 2015, and 2019. In 2015, the line crossed to the Buddha side of the Rakoksi Bridge, which was inaugurated in 1995 and was designed for the tram to cross it. Present and Future As of 2012, it seems that the local governments have shifted towards a more tram-friendly view. Line 1 and 3 were renovated and Line 1 extended, mostly from EU funding. Line 47 and 49 are planned to reach Nugati Ter once again as it used to be their final stop before M3 was opened. A major project was carried out to connect, extend, and develop the tram lines on the Buddha side, providing longer lines and fewer transfers. Lines and Developments As of 2021, it was composed of 38 lines, 26 main lines and 11 supplemental lines denoted by an A or G after the route number and the Budapest Cogwheel Railway. Among these lines, only Line 6 offers non-stop service. Most of the trams run between 5 a.m. and 11 p.m. Discontinued Lines It is not always straightforward to decide whether a tram line still exists in Budapest since throughout the decades some numbers may have been carried by several lines, not at the same time though, so some numbers might have appeared and disappeared throughout time. Some lines were assigned new numbers, so even though there is no line with that specific number, there is a line on exactly the same route. Of course, existing lines might have been lengthened or shortened, so this also makes hard to exactly define a tram line. Still, the following table tries to summarize these data. Termini and dates refer to the last time the number was used. 
please look on screen to see the chart. We will not be reading it out loud. The remainder of the article, rolling stock, current fleet, as well as depots, are also going to be charts which will be shown on screen. We will not be reading them out loud. Thank you very much for listening all the way to the end. This was another user requested article, and we do take requests. All that we ask is if we do read your request, that you listen to it in its entirety. It's always a pleasure to read these articles for you. And if you are interested in the subject matter, we will not be answering questions because these articles are being read verbatim with no comment or opinion added, but we will always encourage you to check out the Wikipedia article yourself, look at the charts, references, see also, and external links, and of course, make sure to support the podcast by following it on whichever platform you're using to listen to it or watch it. My name is Stacey Hewen, and thank you for listening to Wikipedia Audiobook.